What is up, people? It's your beer girl, Melissa, and I am here in my dining room. Happy 2021. We survived it. Barely. But we made it. Um, so after all that holiday indulgence, you know, I know a lot of people are doing a dry January. Um, kind of just like detoxing, right? Because I feel like between Thanksgiving to Christmas, it's kind of like just binge worthy left and right and drinking and eating all the things and you just don't stop so january is kind of like a reset renew re-cleanse <coughs> detox however you don't have to give up your beer because we have for you so many different types first of all of non-alcoholic beer in the house at beer world across all of our locations but i picked out a few different options for you to try so we're gonna get right into it um I don't think that this guy needs any introduction. This is Heineken. They are one of the only zero zero beers out there. So some of these have a little bit of alcohol, but not enough to really do anything to you or be considered um, a problem. You know, you're not gonna get a buzz off of it, but this is actually zero zero. And I'm just interested to see again, if it tastes like Heineken. Yeah. Tried and true Heineken, through and through. It is actually a little bit smoother. And Heineken, I don't know if you condone this, but I kind of like to put a lemon in mine. It's a good flavor. All right, we're going to move right along here. So next up, I thought this was cool. Lagunitas IPNA, non-alcoholic. They are out of the West Coast. This is an IPA. It is 0.5%. It's exciting because you don't really see many IPAs that are non-alcoholic. So this is going to be interesting. I expect it to, since it's a West Coast style IPA, I expect it to be a lot more hoppy than citrus. Um, as you can see, it's nice and clear. You can see that clarity right through it, which is what we expect from a West Coast IPA. There's really not much aroma to it at all. Let's sip it. Exactly what I thought nice hoppy like not crazy it's not like so so hoppy but it's a nice dry hop you really don't get like really much of a citrus at all um again it's not one of those hazy ipas like we would see like a new england ipa this is west coast um lagunitas good job the good thing about these two is if you are trying to like tighten up your diet um they have a lot less calories in them because the alcohol is what brings you the calories for the most part. So this brand I'm really excited about. This is Athletic Brewing Company. I have actually been wanting to try them for a long time. They are completely dedicated to athletes meeting their goals. Um, brew without compromise. Why should you give up your athletic goals when uh, you want to have a couple of beers and knock some back and then, you know, you don't set your, set your record pace. So they actually give 2% of the proceeds back to um, restoring trails, which I also, I can't talk today, guys. I feel like I swear when I'm sober. <laughs> um, but they give their 2% back to restoring local trails. So that's awesome. And athletic Bravo, kudos to you for like being pioneers and really just making yourself about like non-alcoholic beer. I love it. And it's craft. I didn't mention this, but this is a golden ale. And the other thing too, which I really like, because sometimes I get like a little bit crazy about what I eat and what I'm watching is that these, these are very macro friendly. So you can see that the macro count is right there on the can, which is like really hard to do. And if you count ma macros consistently and you are really good at it, Hats off, it's hard, it's hard to fit things in. All right, last, I was really excited about this one because we have Brooklyn who came out with their special effects. This is a hoppy brew, it is less than 0.5% ABV. And surprisingly, this is um, out of Utica, not Brooklyn. I was kind of intrigued by that. Brooklyn, you're spreading out all over the state. Spread love, it's the Brooklyn way, okay. That's delicious. Has a really, really nice hoppy taste like up front, but it's also very smooth all the way through. And then you get like a little bit of a citrus, like kind of in the middle. Yum, that is fantastic. Brooklyn special effects, I am feeling it. So don't forget, dry January is okay to do. Don't feel bad about it. Don't let your friends like me guilt you into breaking that dry January, but do come into the stores, 
So you pick these up and there's a lot more out there. Like there were so many options. We just wanted to make sure we got something where you could go into any beer store, beer world store, and it would be there. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe at beer girl underscore Melissa. Follow your local beer world store, uh, beer world parentheses, your city or town. And uh, stay tuned. Um, we've got some exciting stuff coming up next. And uh, comment below if you like me better with a little buzz or a little sober. All right, on that note, beer girls out.